So welcome to my third video, which is going to be, uh, you can probably tell, it's going to be about a book haul. So I know a lot of you probably knew about Book Outlet. I did not know before uh, I really became a part of the Owl Crate Society that there was such a thing as about Book Outlet. I just got all my books off Amazon or Barnes & Noble, um, which is probably sad because I've been <laughs> could have been saving a lot of money on Book Outlet. So definitely check it out if you haven't. Also they had a really big sale uh, in October, a couple weeks ago I guess. A lot of people ordered, a lot of people are just getting their shipments. So. I'm gonna do my October book haul. Kind of forgot how many I ordered. So, um, first I'll do the Owl Crate book, which um, some of you probably subscribe to. Hopefully, by now you have received, and it's not a surprise, but. Their book for the October Owl Crate was Vasa in the Night. I haven't read it yet. Um, I have to do my library books first and then I get around to these ones. Um, it looks pretty short, which um, which will be nice, but I know it has to do with like Russian folk tales and it's kind of spooky. So I'm looking forward to it. It's very outside of anything I've read before, um, though I think there's magic. So that'll be cool. So, Ruin and Rising. Okay, this is actually like the third book of the Grusha trilogy. Uh, I have not read any of them. I've seen a lot of people talking about Shadow and Bone and, of course, Six of Crows. Um, I had not heard of the series before the last, like, couple weeks. So, I got the third book um, because I could get it, it was available, but also in anticipation of reading the entire series. I'd like to read the series before I start Six of Crows, even though I know you don't have to. So I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, we have Winner's Curse. Again, this is a book, actually, I think I just saw that I have this on my Nook or my Kindle and, like, totally forgot about it. It's, like, months old, but it's one of those ones that, um, I know that this is older. It's an older book series. I think the trilogies are already finished, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. It seems kind of right up my alley. We have The Glass Arrow. Females are scarce, hunted, and I as luck is about to run out. Ooh. So I definitely buy books by their cover. I don't know. Do you guys? I definitely do. And I think this is a pretty cool looking cover. It's probably pretty cheap. Uh, a break in the noise behind me and I make the mistake that will cost me my freedom. I look back. Ooh, it sounds pretty intense. Oh, I got Bloodhound and Terrier since they're together. So this is the books one and two of the Becca Cooper series. Um, I've read most of the books of Tortal by uh, Tamora Pierce. Um, I realized though that I'm missing this series. I own actually most of the Tortal books, obviously not here, but in my, um, all my stuff that's in storage, I own it. So um, I got the first and second book because I need to, I like having complete series. So literally like all of the books of that world. I have all of the Mercedes Lackey, Heralds of Voldemort series, including the anthologies. So I like to do the same for Tamora Pierce. She is definitely one of my favorite fantasy authors. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan. When the darkest, darkness descended, her fate was sealed. Again, it looked like a pretty cover. Um, it was highly rated. It was pretty cheap. Why not? Truth Witch um, by Susan Denard, a Witchlands novel. So again awesome looking cover. I like the female powerhouse here and uh, has magic in it. But I, if it has a strong female lead and magic, I'll probably at least buy it on ebooks. I'm a sucker for those. Um, this looks pretty interesting. I've seen a couple of other people reading it and it has a seal of approval from Sarah J. Mass. So that's always good. Um, it sounds like it has a really vibrant world. So I'm looking forward to reading this. She is, I don't know her name because I haven't read it yet, but she has the ability to 
like make people tell the truth and so all a bunch of kingdoms are after her basically okay trial by fire oh yeah this is the world walkers trilogy so um yeah it's not world that's wishlands <laughs> world walkers trilogy so i actually bought another um book outlet some a uh, couple other books um and i got the second one in that shipment that's coming soon so this is the first one of the world walker series series again magic i think it's a female lead hard to go wrong okay so next we have the adoration of jenna fox by mary pearson so you probably know mary pearson from her kiss of deception series um i basically was looking to buy those ones and they weren't available and i saw that she had also written this one and frankly i loved the kiss of deception series did i say kiss of darkness the kiss of deception series um so much that she became like an insta buy author so um apparently jenna's been in a coma and she has no recollection of her life um so it looks pretty interesting i really like her i liked her writing in um the Kiss of Deception series, so I can't wait to start this one. Oh no, my tower's leaning. Um, okay, so I've got Garth Nix to hold the bridge. So, um, as you may know, uh, Golden Hand just came out by Garth Nix, um, and I have, I've read um, Sabriel, Claire, or Lyriel, and Abhorson, and on my to be read list is Clarial. So I had to finish it out before I start Golden Hand, well by Golden Hand, is I had to get to hold the bridge. Um, it looks like it's a bunch of small novellas. Um, it took me a while, I'll say, to get into Sabriel. Um, and the second book was actually harder. I really loved a porcelain though. Um, and the world is just so vast and wonderful. So I can't wait to read more about this. And then I got uh, Queen of Shadows. Um, so I guess this is the fourth one. Um, I've read this. I've read all of them, um, but I don't actually own them. I only have them on eBooks. Um, and so they're kind of like one book outlet has them on sale. I go ahead and buy them. And again, I wanted them all in hardcover, so I'm waiting. So uh, I own um air hair of fire and actually my friend got me throne of glass signed at comic con um so now i have to just buy the rest okay finally an earlier order from i got from book outlet a friend of mine recommended these books um so it's the beekeepers apprentice and a monstrous regiment of women by Lori king um these are uh sherlock related books so I think he is Sherlock and then the other character is this girl that like helps him solve mysteries I think there's a little bit of romance in there but it's very intellectual my friend highly recommended these and she's super smart so I thought why not check it out plus I love Sherlock so I check it out okay well that's it for October I guess it's not that much but it's more than I've gotten in a while so I can't wait to see what I get for November Okay, see ya.